Hello and welcome to the Daily Mill for Thursday the 10th of August 2023. In today's Mill news, we look forward to the game at the weekend. There's a big game for many reasons. Um, and Mill will have um, told everyone what's going to be happening. It's a Mill football club to pay tribute to John Berylson against Bristol City. Uh, this is from millwc.co.uk. Mill football club will pay tribute to John Berylson. At Saturday's Skybet Championship fixture against Bristol City, kick off 3 pm. The Lions former chairman tragically passed away on the 4th of July, aged 70, with the club set to honour the American against the Robins. The players will wear tribute warm up t shirts, and match shirts have also been embroidered for the occasion, as per the below photo. There it is, there with the, that logo JGB. John Gregory Berylson, and then the uh, the game as well, Mill versus Bristol City, Saturday, 12th of August, 2023. Uh, they will be available for auction after the game, with all proceeds going to the John Berylson Legacy Fund. So I'm assuming that's going to be on match worn shirts, because that's where Mill have been auctioning off the shirts uh, after the games. Uh, the turnstiles at the den will open up. But it was James Berylson, uh, the new chairman, and John's son will visit the SC16 fan zone at 2 pm and meet supporters. Uh, from 2 45 pm, the Berylson family will be pitch shy for the duration of the com uh, commemorations, which get underway with an EFL presentation. Following that, a tribute video in memory of John will be on the big screen. Uh, at its conclusion, the Berylson family will be introduced to the crowd before the players and officials emerge from the tunnel with both captains. Carrying reefs. A minute's applause will then take place as both sides gather at the centre circle before the skippers lay their respective reefs behind each goal. The match will then kick off. Uh, please take to your seats early to ensure that you do not miss any planned tributes. A special edition tribute book program, if you will, um, on sale at a minimum price of five pound. We'll be on sale around the ground on Saturday with all profits also going to the John Berylson Legacy Fund. Uh, more details will be confirmed in the lead up to the match. Uh, further match day information ahead of Saturday's game will be released in due course. And on their Twitter, they have put up this uh, running order. So, 11 a.m. Harry's Bar and Fan Zone opens. Uh, the reason for that is um, they think people will want to watch the Women's World Cup. Uh, Maybe people just want to go down to the ground and have a drink. Uh, 12pm, the 1885 club opens. At 1.30, the turnstiles will open. 2pm, James Berylson to visit the fan zone. Uh, 2.45, the Berylson family to arrive pitch side. 2.46, uh, EFL presentation to the Berylson family. 2.51, tribute video to commence on the screen. Now it looks like it's five minutes long as the 2.56 the tribute video finishes and the players and officials emerge from the tunnel with both captains carrying reefs at 2.59 and minutes of applause takes place before captains lay their respective reefs behind each goal and at 3pm uh, the match kicks off. So that's what's coming up the game uh, on Saturday against Bristol City. Um, now Big occasion, uh, as you've seen. Hopefully, the players um, rise to the occasion and um, do John Burleson proud and then and, uh, get a result from that game. But uh, obviously, we had the uh, shambles against Reading. So now we don't know which mill is going to turn up. It would be the one that expertly dealt with Middlesbrough. It would be the one that uh, capitulated against Reading. So this is from SouthwarkNews.co.uk. Gara explains what we will have to do to bounce back for Bristol City game. Uh, the Lions are still licking their wounds after a chastening. Chast chastening? Someone's got the dictionary out. Carabao cut defeat to Reading. Uh, Gary Rout has said he will not dwell on the point of Carabao Cup defeat to Reading as he challenges his players to bounce back. The Lions return to league action on Saturday as they prepare to face Bristol City. 
The game will see tributes to the club's late chairman, John Belson, before we all look to get back to winning ways. And Rowett has said it's up to the players to return to the performance levels which brought victory at Middlesbrough on the opening day of the season. Asked about how he plans to get his players off the ground, Rowett said, Well, the players have to do it themselves. They've got to go away tonight, think about their performance and come in Thursday and ready to go again. I'm not going to dwell on it. I don't want to make the performance acceptable. I don't want to feel uh, like people have got away with not earning their money uh, this evening. But sometimes these games happen. It's not nice to see. It's not nice to be a part of. But uh, what you've got to do is you've got to bounce back and respond from a night like tonight. And make it a positive one on the weekend. Because we all know the weekend. There's a lot of meaning on it as well. And it's nice to get that, uh, to get that first home league game. And see if there's a difference in how we play. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So we will see which mule will turn up. Um, also, so all of the story, this is the last story of today's video. Uh, all of the stories are about this game coming up. The family fun zone is back. Mill Junior Lions fun zone is back. Uh, Mill Junior Lions family fun zone. Is back ahead of the Lion Skybet Championship fixture of Bristol City between 1.30 and 2.30. Uh, if you visit the Lions Centre within the Mill Community Trust for free fun, including this weekend's edition of the Fun Zone, will be the usual favourites with Zampa and Bellina also in attendance. Uh, the Fun Zone is open to home and away junior supporters, so come on down. We look forward to seeing you. Furthermore, Supporters can now visit Harvey's Den upstairs in the Lions Centre, serving teas, coffees, cakes, sandwiches and more. Uh, for more on the Junior Lions Club. So if you don't want to be around boozers and uh, with your kids, uh, there's a, like a cafe style place you can go. The Lions Centre, so if you've been the Lions store or the club shop, you go down, it's like a the building with um, black glass, I think. Um, it's in there uh, for an hour before the game kicks off. You know, uh, kids can run around or you have a cup of tea or coffee upstairs if you're like uh, recovering. Uh, you don't want to be around boozers or you just don't want kids around that. You can pop in here and, and uh, that's what it is. So there you go. And on that note, thank you for watching and goodbye.